Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and we have uh, the uh, preview updates, the cumulative update uh, for preview, which basically is the bug fixing updates, and of course adds some new features at the same time on Windows 11. Um, this is an optional update for now. You can wait until Patch Tuesday. I often recommend you wait. In the past months, there have been a couple of occasions where the preview update actually caused issues and what happens is that while if there's anything wrong with it well from the time that it's released until patch tuesday there usually is a fix so uh, you can wait and just ignore it um, if you want uh, if you do install it well it comes through the windows updates of course here in the windows updates you will see uh, that an update uh, that is Cumulative update preview for Windows 11, KB505-8499 for Windows 11, uh, 24H2. And uh, this, of course, is uh, non-security. There's nothing security in here. If you're on a Copilot plus PC machine, there's tons and tons of new things that are being fixed in here or that are added um, to improve the Copilot plus PC AI side of things. So there's a lot of uh, changes uh, for you, and uh, that is a pretty um, a pretty big update for Copilot plus PC machines. As for the um, regular machines, systems like I have here and what majority of people have, uh, it fixes a few things. It fixes uh, the audio, Bluetooth audio, the uh, sound when they start the PC. The startup sound is uh, not working. Bluetooth, they fixed a Bluetooth issue where um, it actually froze sometimes when you were trying to get more information about Bluetooth devices. They've fixed also some camera issues where um, interacting um, in the settings could sometimes freeze the settings app when you would go to uh, the uh, camera. Uh, devices. Uh, there's uh, also a uh, unexpected changes to screen size and window positions might occur sometimes uh, when you get back from sleep on the display that's fixed. File Explorer, if you have disconnected network drives while conducting a search, uh, it might prevent searches from executing. Um, they fixed voice input of all sorts. They fixed uh, few uh, issues one with a uh, printer that you uh, can't remove if you're not an admin but you did add a printer uh, you can't remove it they fixed that uh, fix certain USB device that become disconnected after you go to sleep and they um, fixed a few other things um, uh, bit locker issues with removable drives um, boot menu screen to update uh, for screens um, with BitLocker pin, BitLocker recovery keys. Uh, they fixed um, some bugs that were having issues uh, for some gamers, uh, depending on the games that would become resp unresponsive after upgrading to 24H2. They fixed a memory leak that would impact performance. Uh, they um, and, and so on fixed a network problem also. So this contains quite a lot of fixes for Windows 11. So if you had any of these problems, of course, you can uh, go and check it out. Once you have updated your Windows 11 24H2, you will be uh, 2600.4702, uh, sorry. So uh, 19, uh, 2600.4202. And that's where we are at with this bug fixing. Once again, you can ignore it and have it installed when Patch Tuesday arrives. It uh, was a pretty quick install here, even though there's a bunch of fixes. And this is where maybe sometimes it's good to wait. There are so many fixes in here that, you know, waiting to see if there's anything happening because of that is probably a good idea. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.